College Football 25 comes out in July and the hype for this game is out of this world and so many people can't wait to get their hands on it and finally play it after 11 years. This is going to turn into a series with College Football 26 and 27 coming out in the next 1 and 2 years. That's what I wanted to go over today is how I think the next couple games will kind of turn out and how they will set up for the future and what direction that college football is going towards as a whole for EA Sports. With that being said, I'm going to start with 25 as kind of a baseline and then work my way up through 26 and 27 with each of them having slight different changes that I'm just here to predict. At the end of the day, please don't comment about how, you know, nothing will come true. These are my opinions and this is just what I think will happen. So let's just get straight into it, starting with College Football 25. We know a fair bit about it. Obviously, it's coming out very soon, so they're giving us trailers. Probably in the next week, we'll see even more stuff about it. We know Team Builder is in it, which is something that a lot of people wanted to see, but we really didn't know until a couple days ago you know all the main modes are in it they had to build this game from the ground up that is one big thing you know they couldn't copy over madden they had to make it play different than madden they had to get all these you know animations all these skins and, and jerseys and all that stuff they had to build from the ground up because this is the first game and that's one of the biggest reasons it didn't come out last year is because they had to take so much time to make it right and make a polished game from scratch in like two or three years since NIL was finally, you know, released to the players. With that being said though, they couldn't include absolutely everything. People are going to complain about video games that come out no matter what. I'm just going to say it right here. Nobody can come up with a video game that everyone says is perfect. So people are going to complain about the graphics and the gameplay and I think you guys took me wrong when I said that the graphics look like Madden too much. That wasn't a complaint, I was just stating a fact, that was just my opinion. People will have their qualms but overall people will be very happy that college football video games are finally back and I think people will really cherish one specially because of just the novelty of it and how we haven't had a game in so long. I think the gameplay will hold its ground, it'll definitely feel different than Madden if what they're saying is true, so I have faith that they will uh, actually follow through with that. I think it'll be the most sold, you know, college football game ever, which is kind of not a huge deal because 14 was a while ago and now 25 has so much more hype and all that stuff, but I think it'll be cool how much detail there is you know the trailer you see there's so much tradition and so much that goes into each specific team that is completely unique so i think that'll be a cool thing that people will really like but at the end of the day we don't know much about the gameplay which is obviously the part of the biggest thing with a video game is the gameplay so nc 25 or college football 25 or you whatever you want to call it uh, we really don't know a whole lot about the gameplay, so we'll just have to wait and see about that. Crossplay, though, is definitely a plus, and I'm glad we don't have to wait for till next year for most of the main game modes. Moving on to College Ball 26, this is really where my kind of predictions start going on. I definitely think mascot mode will be added if it hasn't already been added in the previous game 25 because people are saying they might add it later on they just didn't have time but it has been basically confirmed to not be in college football 25 so it's the first time you're hearing it then uh sorry i guess but team builder is a basic version right now people are glad it's in the game but i do think in 26 it'll take definitely a step up and will become more complex and kind of uh more deep into what you can actually customize with each team but i do think fans will become kind of complacent and a little bit disappointed with the lack of new features that 26 brings and there's not much that EA can do about it because they can't add just you know trash game modes to satisfy people because people will complain about that but some people will definitely say why does it have to come out every year like they do with Madden and FIFA and all the yearly game releases like that. Like I said before, I definitely think College Football 26 is when they start to miss 25 because people miss how fun it was when they finally got to get their hands on the game and they're never going to recreate that feeling. EA Sports, that's completely out of their control, but you know people are going to say, oh, I miss the days when we would just play College Football 25, yada, 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 26, now this is just another copied over game. And... I'm trying to give EA Sports the benefit of the doubt, but I do think that 26 they'll start to shift more of their, you know, power towards Ultimate Team and their resources to try to build up a paywall. And I hate to say it, and don't get mad at me, but I do think that they're going to start shifting to, you know, more pay-to-win stuff 
later down the line and just maybe cosmetic stuff but they're gonna put more effort into that instead of actual content to come out with a new game once they get people hooked with 25 and 26. Overall, I think 26 will just be the polished version with peop stuff people ask for. I do think EA Sports will take into consideration what people won and what people complained about in the 25 game that comes out in July. So stuff like, you know, online dynasty cross platform or something like that people were complaining about. I'm not too worried about that personally, but that's probably something they're going to add or at least put to their list to add for college football 26 and there will be an upgrade to graphics slightly i mean i think it'll be a little bit better than madden in terms of copy and paste but there will be it'll be similar but there will be some upgrades you know how they do it they put sweat at least in 2k and call it a day moving on to college football 27 two years away from now and once again these are just speculation don't get mad at me but i do think that they'll add a feature kind of like the yard or worse than that and then people will get mad and it's a response of people saying they didn't add enough in 26 so now they add this brand new game mode and people say they are doing too much and i do think more pro microtransactions more than 26 will be added to ultimate team maybe even to road to glory if they add some sort of currency to that game mode but ea definitely wants to make the most money off of microtransactions and by then they'll already be established with college football you know all the skepticism will be worn away they'll get reoccurring buyers every year you know buying the game and giving them 70 dollars their own money yearly in about july or august so they can't spoil the first or second game with all these market transactions so they're gonna give a good game like i said earlier they want to get people hooked so that they keep coming back and kind of ignore the bad parts of the college football series so they kind of turn it into a yearly game where nothing more is added and i can't blame them for that they can't come out with a brand new game every year that people are like oh wow look at how many features they have but i do think they start to focus on the paid content side because i do think 27 will be their biggest year in terms of money i said sales before for 25 like game physical sales but i do think they'll make the most money off of 27 just because they add more microsoft jacksons and maybe that's too bold of a statement to make when it's 2024 in may before 25 has even touched us yet so i i this is just speculation but i do think 27 will be peak earnings for EA Sports and their people are still buying it and sinking money into their microtransactions. They'll have some small gameplay tweaks, but once again, it won't be enough to, you know, make a huge difference. I'm going to come out here and say that hopefully I'm wrong on all these negative predictions. EA Sports is kind of a gamble. They have this brand new franchise, this brand new game. They can do anything they want with it. And it's up to them if they're going to go the greedy route or the player base route. But at the end of the day, they are a corporation. So I'm not going to blame them that much if they know they can earn so much money off microtransactions. So they feed right into it and kind of not even screw over the smaller players. Because if they leave Road to Glory and Dynasty alone, that'll be fine. But if they lean into the, you know, buying microtransaction kind of way that they have for other games, I don't even blame them because they have this money sitting on their table and they're not taking advantage of it if they go the other route. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. Whatever I say won't make a difference at all in terms of EA Sports, obviously. So I'm just kind of talking, but I definitely think that EA Sports will have this choice ahead of them in the coming years. With that being said, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you agree with my predictions. And thank you for watching the full thing. I will see you in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe.